Hello and welcome to Beginner's Tutorial. My name is Claudio and this is CryptoChain, the channel where I do cryptocurrency news reviews, demos, interviews and blockchain games reviews. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to explain to you what is the difference between cold staking coins and hot staking coins. What are the pros and cons of each one? And I'll be giving you my personal opinion at the end of the video as to which one I like more and which one I prefer uh, based on the pros that are out there versus the cons, of course. And I'd also like to get your opinion in a comment below at the end of this video. If you could please let me know which one do you prefer more. If you've already been staking, which type of staking coin do you own? And why do you prefer that over the other? And don't forget to like the video, of course, if you enjoyed it. And I just want to let you know as the disclaimer that this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And none of the coins that I explain in this video and that I use as a reference are actually uh, sponsoring me in any way, shape or form. I'm simply using them as an example because these are the best examples that I have found. And uh, let's get straight in and talk about cold staking coins. So what is the first advantage? Well, the first advantage is that they don't require your device to be online 24 seven. What do I actually mean by that? Well, simply imagine that you're buying a coin which you can stake from an exchange. Then you send that coin to your wallet. Now, once it's on your wallet, the coin is basically staked. That means that you are helping secure the network and you are generating some kind of income, be it in that specific cryptocurrency that you have in your wallet or in some sort of fuel token. And a good example would be NEO in this case. And do check out that NEO review that I did on the top right hand corner of the screen after this video, if you're interested, uh, just to kind of get a better explanation or better understanding uh, of NEO and how actually cold staking works uh, with NEO. But uh, once you generate that kind of fuel token or that cryptocurrency, then that's pretty much it. That's your return for actually helping secure the network and for holding them in your wallet. So the fact that you don't need any electricity whatsoever is, does mean that it is eco-friendly. So that is one of the pros in my opinion. Now, the other thing is that you generate around five to 7% uh, on the return of your coins per year with cold staking now it does vary a lot it depends a lot on the cryptocurrency out there there are many proof of stake consensus algorithms out there uh, i'll be giving you two examples and that's neo and ontology uh, but to be honest it depends how you actually stake it so there are various ways you can just simply keep them in your wallet and then the return of investment isn't so high or there's an option to stake to a node. And if you decide to stake to a node, uh, it's basically clicking a few buttons. It's not very complex at all. You don't need to be tech savvy. And once you actually stake to those nodes, then you start to generate an income from there. And you normally get paid out on a specific basis. Uh, be it uh, you, can, you can claim that kind of reward that you're generating or you will be uh, sent some kind of reward from the company which you are staking with. And like I said, a good example is Ontology with node staking. I've actually done a tutorial on Ontology node staking. Do check it out. It should pop up on the top right hand corner of this video. And no technical skills required is the next uh, important point. And what do I mean by that? Well, you don't actually need to set up a server. You don't need to set up configuration files. You don't need to worry about resources, how fast is your computer and things like that. You don't care about all that stuff. All you're doing is literally sending coins from an exchange that you've just purchased to your personal wallet and you're forgetting about them. And that's simply that. Basically hodling your coins is the equivalent of cold staking if it is the right coin, which supports that, of course, like I was saying earlier. And now the short staking periods is another big advantage. Now that does depend again. So with NEO, for example, all you do is you have the coins in your wallet and you start generating income and you can simply sell them at any time. It doesn't matter. You're not going to be affected in terms of your income, which you've already generated for holding them in your wallet. So that specific time frame is going to generate you extra coins. But as soon as you sell them, then obviously it stops. So you're no longer generating anything. But with ontology, uh, you do have a waiting period to withdraw from the node. It does take like around one week or something similar. It depends. It varies a lot depending on how quickly the blocks move. But it just shows you that there are more pros uh, with cold staking, in my opinion. But let's actually look at hot staking so that you can understand that. And before we do it, let's have a quick look at the examples that I was giving you. So we've got NEO, which is one project that is actually uh, enabling cold staking. So you can do that with it. And also ontology, you can do cold staking with ontology. And of course, node staking too, which I was talking to you about earlier. Uh, do check out that tutorial I've done. 
And let's move on and talk about hot staking now. So hot staking requires your device to be online, hence why the name hot, right? Because you need to keep that device on in order to secure the network and in order to generate uh, block rewards from transactions uh, that are going on there, right? So because of that, you normally get paid a little bit more than cold staking. The rewards are higher because you need to use those resources. You need to use up your computer resource. Imagine you need to keep your laptop or your desktop on 24 seven in order to generate some kind of return, which is kind of similar to mining in a way, uh, except you don't need to um, have all these fancy equipment, right? All you need to do is basically keep your computer or your device online 24 seven and you start generating. Uh, but uh, it does generate more returns. Like I was saying, the returns are usually higher, usually 10% or higher per year, but this does depend a lot. So with some of the examples I'll be giving you, they are quite good returns for at least one of the projects, the other one not so good. So it just shows you that it does vary a lot. Now they do require technical skills sometimes because uh, most of the time you need to have some kind of setup in place uh, with your wallet in order to enable hot staking. You need to unlock your wallet, you need to keep your wallet unlocked. Uh, you need to, you may need to follow some certain steps in the wallet in order to configure it for hot staking. So there is more technical skill required there uh, for hot staking, just something to keep in mind. And of course, the longer staking periods are necessary. This means that you cannot sell your coins at any time you wish because you will miss out on the staking gains, which means that you've just wasted all of that electricity for nothing because now you've decided to unstake and you're not going to get rewarded because you had to wait a specific period of time to get that reward. So this is one of the disadvantages uh, with uh, hot staking as opposed to cold staking because it's not eco-friendly. You do need to keep that device on 24-7 and I'm sure you probably guessed it by now. I'm a fan of cold staking coins such as Neo and Ontology simply because you don't need to worry about all that hassle. You just stake and you forget and that's it. So that is pretty cool stuff. Of course, this is an alternative to trading because as you probably know, trading does give you the biggest gains, but it can also help you lose a lot more. So if you're a hodler, cold staking ones are the best in my personal opinion. And let's look at some examples, of course, of hot staking coins. And we've got Pivix, uh, which is a hot staking coin. And we've got Energy. Now, Pivix doesn't actually give you such good returns on investment, to be honest. I have checked them out. I think it's something like 5 or 6%. I haven't done a review on Pivix. I just had a quick look at them uh, some time ago. They are quite an old project. But Energy are one of the newer projects. And they have given a really good return on investment at the beginning, but it has dropped significantly. But I know that is definitely more than 10% per year, uh, but they're constantly generating coins. So that actually causes the supply uh, to grow and thus the returns are not so good. So just be careful out there. These are just some examples that I'm giving you here to kind of show you. So that's why I'm so bullish on cold staking over hot staking. And again, that was it from today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, which one do you prefer more now that you've watched this video? Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.